welcome back to another episode of The Lisa Show. And today, we will be digging in to this amazing plate of goodness. We have got three packets of the Nuclear Fire Noodles Carbonara Edition, which is my favorite out of all of them. And we've got some fried chicken, as well as some stir-fried um, sao bai chai, some vegetables, just to balance things out. And we're just gonna be digging right in. Because we are so hungry. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, first bite. Mm. 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 That's spicy. I have not mm. had these noodles in a while. Mm. And we have also got some kimchi. We've got the radish version and the normal um, cabbage version. So, today's episode, we will be continuing our relationship series. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm. I love it when the your mouth is so hot and you have some cold kimchi just to really douse that fire out. Is it good, babe? Very good. Mm -hmm. mm. So today's topic on the relationship series, we will be talking about, <clears throat> you know, really speaking out to our single friends out there. And we will be giving our, you know, like, advice or our input on how a girl can approach a guy. Because, you know, it's always been like, the guy asks the girl out and the guy does everything. But, you know, in this day and age, I mean, I'm not being like feminist or anything, but hey, it's fair play, you know. If you like that boo, you gotta snag him, so you go for that. It's gonna go into my radish kimchi. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just gonna get a few more bites and then we'll get into our topic. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So, the reason why we wanted to talk about this is because we've been realizing that, mmm, oh god, chicken skin is, chicken skin is not the best for you, but it is so, mmm. I'm in heaven. So we've been realizing there's been a stigma going on about how like girls can't really talk to guys and like, like, like especially in church, you know, like where we spend most of our time. And um, people find it weird, but we actually <clears throat> got together. Oh my. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna take another bite of this and I'll continue talking because this is just so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Ah. Mm. Okay, for reals now. Okay. Because we actually, our relationship, we sort of like got together like how we started was with me um, sort of asking him out first. And I think a lot of girls like, when they hear that, they're like, what? Like, oh my God, how do you do that? Like, it's so like desperate, you know? But hey, it's all about, it's an art and a science, guys. It's really an art and a science. And we're gonna show you 
how we feel you can achieve that and do that without sounding like a desperate single person. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe you're really quiet today. Mmm. He's just eating. Yeah. Wow, oh, chicken. Mmm. Mmm. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys like ask people out? I mean like, as a girl, would you ask a guy that you are interested in out? Or do you feel like that goes against your values and if you ask the guy out, then you're like losing out. Because I do know a few people who, I mean a few girls who <clears throat> like, for some reason, they feel like if they ask the guy out, then the guy mm. won't chase them anymore. You know? Have you heard of that? Mm, not really. Really? Mm. How does that work? Okay, well, guess I guess because I'm the girl, so I hear these things. <laughs> because they feel like the guy has to chase them, which is right. I, I do agree. And so they feel that if they ask the guy out mm -hmm. and the guy isn't chasing them anymore. They feel that if they do that from the start, the guy wouldn't chase them their whole lives anymore. But, I don't know. Do you think like, if a girl asks you out, you will find that she's easy? Mm. Mm. I think the act itself is not, but it depends on the manner of it. Mm. Okay. You know, I think it's fine to ask like someone out for you know, just to meet up for coffee, right? But um, but I think the the manner and the style. Yeah. I think that's that's the that's the difference. <laughs> that's the key. Right. It's all about the tone. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow every relationship advice goes back to that. It's all about the tone. <laughs> it really is. We we'll do another video about that. It's all about the tone. Hmm. In fact, I think the reason why. I encourage my friends to go talk to guys. It's because it just makes things so much easier. Okay, hear me out. When a guy asks us to go out, a lot of people, a lot of girls are like, oh, like he likes me. Oh, he wants to marry me. Like I'm not into him. I don't want to have his babies, you know? But <clears throat> hey, the guy just wants to ask you out for a latte, you know? So. Sometimes I think a lot of guys have a lot of trouble asking or like getting to know a girl because girls, we girls as magnificent as we are, have a very beautiful and complex mind. So we tend to think of all the craziest shit that we can think of. And the moment a guy asks us out, it's like, he wants my baby, you know? And we tend to overreact. And as a result, I feel, I feel that's one of the highest like killers of organic romance i feel like girls overreact and they make it awkward okay this is that the girl is not interested you know which let's be real right at the start unless the guy is like some super hot like walking clock kent you know you wouldn't be like ah yes i will go out with you most of the time I think for most people, most normal people like us, um, it really starts with a conversation. And you build up that friendship, you have um, fun together, and then that's how like sparks start. You know, it's not always like sparks fly at the start, like as Tay Tay would say, you know? So it's a bit different. So I feel like that really, really kills the organic, like the chance for that of even happening because girls are like, oh my god, and then I feel like, Especially when they've got mutual friends and then it just makes it very awkward and then I see so many times that the guy is just like, oh, they kind of like feel very jaded about it because I don't know, what do you think? Like, like it's just quite embarrassing, right? Like if you like the girl and you just wanted to get to know her as a friend even, let's say you ask the girl out for coffee. It doesn't mean like she's the one, right? It's just like, you just want to test the water maybe, get to know her a bit better. Yeah. You know, and see how it could progress from there, right? Like, if you don't want to let that happen, 
There ain't gonna be no sparks flying, man. If I ask us to go out in the ghost community, go, the ghost community will go crazy. Okay. It's like, whoa! <laughs> but I'm just thinking for a guy's community, is it different? It will go after the guy out. I think it's pretty... You, you have a very high probability. Unless, unless you have landed in the big friend zone. The friend zone. Pit of hell, as they would call it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um... Wait, but when I asked you out, did you think I liked you then? No, just no, you didn't, though. Just right. I think it's quite different. Because girls were not treated the same way. And I feel like that really gives chance, you know, for th something to move on, like to happen. Mm, spicy. spicy? Yeah. yeah. Person is a guy. Would you appreciate it if the girl asked, um, asked you out? If a girl asked me out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it, there's a, that's a fresh change. <laughs> It's a what? It's a fresh change. It's a fresh change, right? Yeah. I would think the same. Like, I mean, I'm not a guy. But, you know, he was giving his input as a guy. As a person from the other side. I would feel like, hey, this girl's pretty cool. You know? Like, she's secure. Like, she's just cool. Well, you know? She's not like, eh, you know? Like, insecure and like, scared. But, you know, she just wants to be friends. And I think that is the biggest key, in my opinion of how relationships start is they start because they want to be friends and but I get it I totally get why people jump the gun especially when we're getting older I mean like I'm 26 and he's 30 and in our circle of friends where everyone's around this age when you're reaching like high 20s 30s you know you start looking for you start wanting to look for a life partner you start wanting to really like commit to a relationship at that age so it's quite normal to uh, like assume all these things right it's compared to when you're young and dumb when you're like 13 14 or even 15 you don't think so much you know you're just like yay this guy likes me okay great you know but now when you're like looking looking you're scanning the room and someone asks you out you're like oh my god he wants to get married <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about how do you ask a guy out? Mm. And this is usually in the face, I would say, when you're sort of interested. Not when you're like hit over heels. Lisa's theory about asking a guy out would not work, okay? Disclaimer, would not work if you are like so in love with a guy. Because you're so in love with a guy already, okay? You can't function. And you will not look as cool doing this, okay? Trust me. He would totally tell. So, if you are interested in the guy, okay? Now, there are a few ways to go about doing this. Obviously, the most ideal way is if you guys were already hanging out in a group, okay? And then, which is what, like, what we, we did, right? Yeah. Like, we were already hanging out in a group. And then we hung out one on one. Okay, so that'll be the most logical progression, I would say. The most organic, the most like normal, not challenging way to do it. Okay, but it's a bit harder if you guys aren't hanging out in a group at all. So if you guys aren't hanging out in a group and you guys don't have mutual friends, and you want to ask the guy out. I'll say that really takes some guts because I didn't do it that way. Um, you probably really have to like create some sort of scenario. Most people are like, hey, do you want to get a drink? Okay. Which sometimes puts people off. I mean, like, not, not puts people off, but it makes the person go into like dee -do, dee -do, dee -do, high alarm because they're like, oh my gosh, this person likes me, you know? Especially when you're just testing the water, you know? I mean, if the person, obviously, you can sense that they obviously have feelings for you too and you do that, then, you know, it'll most likely end well. But when you're just testing, sometimes you don't know. So it's a bit out of the, the blue that if someone asks, mm -hmm. instead of like hanging out as like over a common bunch of friends, mm -hmm. over like a, a mutual activity, like an activity you do together, yeah. like a hobby. I mean, you will find it out of the blue, right? Yeah. If a girl who but if the guy you didn't hang out with, 
That means there's a high chance, right? There's a, mm-hmm. there's a high chance that you're also interested to find out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good starting point. Yeah. But, it'll be best, okay? So, okay, if you don't have, let's address the, the part. Let's address the scenario if you don't have mutual friends. If you don't have mutual friends, I would say you just kind of got to go for it, okay? You just kind of got to go for it. Um, instead of just saying, hey, let's get a drink, maybe you guys can like, um, I assume you guys are already chatting on some level. If you guys are not chatting at all, okay, I will not suggest you do that. That's quite creepy, you know, it's like, you know, I'm talking to the guy and they're like, hello, would you like to go out for dinner? That's weird. I would not suggest it. Yeah, that's creepy. Right? I mean, if, if the guy's not interested. I but, mean, hey, you know. if you're super hot and you do the creepiest thing, please, guy, tell them, what will you do? I guess respond. <laughs> Just respond? Yeah. I'm like, yes, I'm there. <laughs> Appear I'm there. very calm and cool and collected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds you know, hot chicken. I think I'm a really out. hot girl who you've never met before asks you out for dinner, guys, okay? High chance she might be a sex scammer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, chance. You know in America on MTV they have the show called Catfish. Have you heard of it? I'm sure some of you guys would have heard of Catfish. And so it's a very popular term now, where you say like, "Oh, someone got catfished." <laughs> catfish is the art, I would say, of putting a fake profile online, okay, and then um, pretending to be that that person, and then after that. Meeting them, okay, and usually she or he turns out to be someone completely different from the picture. So you actually meet the person. Mm-hmm. So what catfish, happens? catfish the show was a um was like a documentary, um you no know, like a reality TV show where this team will go to some of these people's houses and sort of like um vet through their cyber relationships. And then they set up the date and then they go with them and they find who's catfishing them. Yeah, so you, you are the catfish if you are the fake one, basically. You're the one trying to, yeah. But catfishing, I mean, it's, it's just more like, sometimes it's really sad. Sometimes it's not like that out to really scam your money, you know. Yeah. It's just like not as pretty or, or something. And then, mm. you know, they're insecure and then they put another picture on, on their WhatsApp or something and they want to find love. Yeah, so it's not always like it's so bad, but not like the... The ones we see here, the sex scammers. Chinese are very smart, you know, they're very efficient. They don't just, they don't just like try and fake themselves to be loved. They just do yeah. it so that they can get some ka you know? Yeah, some are even fake. Like, apparently, maybe there's some female accounts that are run by males or like some, yeah. some gangs. Or something no, like some that. of the catfish episodes, right? It turns out it's not like a girl. Yeah, but the thing is, there are a couple of like alerts about WeChat scams, right? Mm-hmm. So apparently the... Oh God, the government's so huge on that. Yeah. Here in Singapore. I mean, they, they put out notice to say like, beware, you know, mm-hmm. of WeChat uh, mm-hmm. sex scams and stuff like that. Yeah. So I, I think some of the guys that are more naive, they'll just transfer money. Mm-hmm. Because maybe, perhaps the, the girls are asking, hey, um, if you want to meet up, let's, it's so let's put in some commitment, or something like that, right? Why? Would a guy do that? You know, guys are pretty Desperate. smart. Desperate? Like yeah. for love? Yeah. Like, what would the girl say that would make you transfer money? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I would never. <laughs> it won't work on this guy. <laughs> he loves money more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the guys are really desperate. They, they really want some friendship. Maybe That's they're true. just some retiring. They're really lonely. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, they're divorced. <gasps> what if it's like a widow or a babe? Like an old man who's widowed and he has no wife and he has no one to love him. Yeah. That's actually really sad. Okay. Yeah, you mean <laughs> so yeah, really I'm always like, I'm always like, these WeChat, I mean, for you guys that don't know, you guys should know by now, but WeChat is like the China's version of like, of like um, WhatsApp. WhatsApp yeah. Which is huge, but. WeChat scammers, I'm always like, the victims are like, you stupid little man. Like, why would you do that? But then when I think about it, it was like an old man that has no one to love and his wife passed away and it's like, that just makes me feel so sad. Anyway, okay. Enough of scams, enough of scams. So, <clears throat> back to our relationship talk. 
How do we even get here? I don't know. Mm. This always happens. We really, really spiral. So, <sighs> let me get on my train of thought. Okay, yeah. let me get on How to give. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, if chance. a guy. Uh, so, right. if you are not talking to this guy already and you go say, hey, do you want to get dinner? Unless you're super hot. Like you're like Gal Gado, Wonder Woman, okay? And you text the guy, then of course you have a 100% hit rate every time. But for most of us normal human beings, that might not work so well for you, okay? So I would suggest if you're at least be already on talking terms with this boy, you know? At least have something you're already talking about. Let's say you guys talk and then you guys both realize that um, you're like both creative or you both like music, something like that. One way I would suggest would be to be like, oh, I want to go, um, like, okay, and this is if it's real. I mean, don't, don't, don't lie about it. But let's say if you are thinking of, like, maybe getting, like, buying a guitar. Like, maybe you're thinking of that, but you haven't got one. You're like, I want to go take a look at guitars. And you know that the guy is a guitar dude, like this guy over here. A really good tip I would give is that guys like to, um, Guys like to be the hero, or not like not the hero. Okay, this is a, in our day and age, you, you can't you can't do the whole like jump into the water and be like, oh my god, save me. That's not gonna work. Okay, no guy's gonna save you. I think, but we are, we live in an evil society. But I think in a modern in a modern way of doing that, guys love it. Okay, and correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, guys love it when you go to them for um help, like knowledge, like if they can help you in something. Let's say you need. Let's say. If, the guy that you like is some Excel nerd, okay? And he really loves Excel. And you're like, hey, I don't know how to do VLOOKUP. He'll be like, I'll look it up for you, baby. <laughs> I'll <laughs> help you one. with that, you know? <laughs> I think I think guys just feel very um, secure and, and their ego sort of boosted a bit when they feel like they can help because they're, they're just very clinical. In fact, a lot of the guys that you might want to ask out are like so, so straight, you know? They're like blocks of wood, okay? They don't think about like, oh, I want to get to know her and like date her. They just think, oh, you need help to find a guitar? Okay, I'll go help you. I'll go help you, you know? But that's a really good way to do it and start hanging out without making it look like you're desperate and like, hey, do you want to get some drinks, you know? Because the guy will be like, no, I don't want to drink. I want to play my guitar, <laughs> you know? So I think if you do it that way, um, in fact, one of my friends did this. You know, you know, you can you know who when I say the story. So basically, they're already talking, and then they love. They both love cafes. Okay, they both love cafe hopping. So then they were talking about this cool cafe, and then the girl's like, "Oh, I've never been there." And the guy's like, oh, "Okay." And then the girl's like, "Okay, I'm gonna go check it out maybe next weekend." And then that's all she said. And then the guy's like, "Oh, uh, who are you gonna go with?" And then she said. Oh, just go check it out myself. Which is brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Okay, if the guy is even remotely like into you, right? Or <laughs> interested in having a conversation with you. Uh, I mean, this is it. If, he, if he's single, okay? This is... Guys, this... All this advice, can I just say, is for single people, single girls, a single guy, okay? We're not gonna cross the line here and try and break up another relationship. We don't do that on the Lisa show. We don't do that, okay? So this is for single people. Single girl, single guy. So then the guy was like, oh, no, the girl was like, oh, um, oh, I'm just gonna go check it out myself. And then, wait, do you know who I'm talking about? And the guy was like, oh, um, like, I think he said something like, oh, I'll go check it out. Uh, why don't I go, why don't yeah, I, 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 why don't I go with you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know who I'm talking about now? You, you don't know who I'm talking about? Our friends? You don't, yeah. you don't know who this is? Really? Oh, okay. Anyways, one of our friends. I'm surprised you don't know, but yeah. So I see you gotta, you gotta name it then, I can't <laughs> name it. Like, yeah, we don't keep things private on the show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. That's how they went out for their first, I think that was their first one on one. That's how they did it. Which I think is brilliant. Because it doesn't sound desperate at all. Yeah. In fact, she basically. Took something he said, she said, I'm gonna check it out. And then she put the ball in his court. She said, I'm gonna go alone. And if the guy wanted to come along, then he'll be like, Yeah, can I come along? 
and then it doesn't like goes you don't you don't have to worry that you look desperate because when you do it that way the guy is the one that asks to come along you didn't ask for him to come along so mm. you're sick right yeah i think it's really smart but if mm -hmm. if the if the person is more desperate <laughs> and the guy doesn't respond like oh can i go with you yeah if the guy's or, a block okay yeah. well if the guy, the guy like, block, yeah. like you he may not respond i would think right would you respond if you are not just gonna go at all Let's say the ghost of that. I don't know, let's. Yeah, it must be some level of interest, right? Yeah. I'm not even like. Okay, like, have okay, fun! Okay, yeah, have fun! <laughs> yeah, even if you're going alone. Fail. <laughs> even if you're going alone, it's, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Have a good talk with the barista. <laughs> um, so sad. Yeah, I mean, all these tips and tricks, like, honestly. Like, it will work if, you know, like I said, you guys are already talking and there should be some level of interest, you know. But okay, if that didn't work, and you can always try multiple versions of that, you know, the guy still catch no ball, and the guy's not responding, then you kind of know that the guy's not interested. And I, I would suggest you keep your options open and just like, hang out with other people and find other guys, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm practical. I'm not gonna hang on to one guy who is not interested, you know? I think that's some how, hard truths there. That's how girls just end up getting heartbroken and they hang on to one guy. If the guy hang on to one guy. If the yeah. guy doesn't like you, then, you know, perhaps it might be better if you just, you know. Mm. Like, Maybe someone better out there. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but I would say the easiest way, like I said, it's still be like if you guys hang out in the group. So, yeah. how I did it. With this guy over here and let's give some context okay this guy i would say he's quite a block of wood like them he's not one of those guys that's like his eyes are open pupil opportunity gonna see what girl can he date just living in his own world so when i asked him out he was still really clueless right but when i asked you out what do, what do you think mm, yeah i just thought like i wanted to have some coffee together as friends mm -hmm. yeah just to pass time and you didn't think much of it right yeah until the conversation even even the conversations we had the first time uh, like you know we hang out I, I, it was just like friends right because we, we hang out as, together as a group but i think what's so important about that was that when you end up if you manage to secure that one-on-one -on -one, it's not that spots are going to fly immediately like for us in fact i didn't I didn't like like him like him when I asked him out. At the point I asked him out, I didn't like him like him. That's why I say it's very important that you do this at the point where you're interested but not like him yet. Okay? Um, and even at the talk that we had, we both weren't like, <clears throat> oh, we want to date each other. But what it did do was that it opened up our minds to see each other in like a different light. Would you, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, like it's different from when we were just hanging out in the group right because we got to talk more about like i don't know what we're talking about like our personal stuff yeah we really get to know the person better yeah one -to -one. like as compared right. to in a group yeah you might have the one-on-one -on -one and then realize that oh my god this guy is not not someone i'm looking for and then that's fine because if at least you know and then you can start wasting time you know, rather than you, rather than you keep it yourself, you never meet him. You start crushing over him and then imagining him to be this person that he's actually not. And you're like, oh, and then you get so drunk in your own love. And you, and, you, and then it, it ends up being unrequited or something. He gets married and then you're like, oh, <laughs> oh it's really sad. What is really a long crush that he, he gets married? You could get married in one year, two years, you never know. People nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, why don't you say from your point of view what I did? That will make more sense. Mm. So we were, we were kind of like hanging out um, to meet one of our uh, our peers, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and then he had to go back to work mm -hmm. after that. And um, what happened next was he asked me like, Hey, what are you doing in the afternoon later? 
right? After after the lunch, right? Mm-hmm. So I was just thinking, mm, not really anything much, but uh, I don't mind just going back home. <laughs> yeah, that's to, what he said. To practice some of my my guitars and all that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then I don't know what we were thinking back then. Like, what 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 do you what were we thinking back then? And what were you like <clears throat> question like, hey, why don't we hang out, right? Mm. Yeah. Um. So like what he said, one of our friends went back to work, and I'm one of those people. Okay, so basically, maybe we met up about like we met up maybe about like twelve. Okay, lunch ended by one, one fifteen. You know, because the person that we met was working, and we were both students. We weren't working back then, so that person obviously we had like a one hour ish kind of lunch break. And I'm the kind of person that's like, I'm not gonna, I came, I dressed up, I came all the way out here, I'm not just gonna go home, like, right now. It's a, it's very, like, low utility of my time. <laughs> But to the guys, it's like, hey, I'm here to meet you guys for lunch. Yeah. Like, objective met, I'm going back now. I'm going back. Yeah, out. precisely. But hey, I'm an opportunist, you know? So then, I was like, do you want to grab coffee? And really, sometimes I think it's just that simple. Just ask that, do you want to grab coffee? You don't need to be like, um, I want to go to check out this place and they have very good waffles, uh, general, you know, like, you don't need to make it so complicated, it's like, you just want to grab coffee. And I didn't have a place in mind, I was just like, do you want to hang, you know, since we're already out. And he's like, no, I've got to go home and I've got to go practice my guitar. <laughs> and I was like, what a little loser. <laughs> Just cut that out. I'm not a loser. You're not a loser, baby. Yeah. Of course you're not. You're just a cute little nerd. Okay. <laughs> he's the best. But yeah, so I was like, and then he showed some resistance. Mm -hmm. And I think what's really important is that you guys just be normal and be a friend. Like, don't even be like, if he shows res resistance, then you're like, oh my god, it's over. He doesn't like me. He doesn't want to hang out with me. <laughs> it's the end. It's the end. End game, you know? No, like, I think uh, what I did was I like, just, when he said that, I'm like, why? I just asked him why. Sometimes you'd be surprised. You ask people why. Throws them off, you know. Applies to all all areas in life. So I was like, why? Why do you want to go back now? Let's just hang. And sometimes all you need is just that one more nudge, and he's like, "You're like, okay, sure, right, sure." And I was like, okay. And I wasn't even like, oh yay! It was just like, a, okay, let's just go hang out, you know, because it's not like we're strangers. Like we we hang out in a group, you know. Um, and then and then what we did was we just hopped on the train. And what surprised him was that he was actually really spontaneous. Which was a side that I never saw when we hung out in a group. Okay? He was really spontaneous. He was like, um, Do you remember? Do you remember what you did? Yeah. We got on the train. Yeah. We have no idea where we want yeah, to head to. Yeah, we had no coffee. idea. And then? And we just hopped on a train that was uh, city bound, right? Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, we just like decided to just jump off at any any uh, station that we felt like we wanted to get out. Yeah, so this is a cute trip for you guys. I mean, the boys to try. So what he did was that, because I was the one that said, why don't we go for coffee? And then he said, uh, okay, and then we got on the train. And after he was like, okay, since he's like, where do you want to go? I'm like, I have no idea. And then he like was quite quick on his feet and he was like, oh. Why don't whenever you want to get out, we just get out at any yeah. stop. And honestly, that made me like more interested in him because I thought like, wow, like he's kind of like fun. And I, and I like guys who are spontaneous and fun and, and he never portrayed that side of himself when you were in a group, which is why, like I say, it's so important to like find time to meet one-on-one because you really get to see like different facets of the person which you will never see, whether good or bad, you know? So then... So then I was like, oh, okay. And then we just went on the train and we just talked and we just talked. And then when, when I felt like getting out, I was like, okay, let's go. And then we were like, oh. So we got out. And we got out and we just, went to, we just found some random um, smoothie place to get a drink. Right, Blue? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then from there we had quite a long conversation. Three hours. Really? I don't, really? Yeah, still three hours. Wow. Yeah, we just hung out. Three hours. So, so yeah, that's why girls, I tell you, don't be afraid, just go for it. Just be like, hey, do you want to have coffee? Or whatever your jam is, maybe if you're like hipster, you know, do you want to get an acai bowl? <laughs> whatever 
works for you you know and sometimes i like to ask myself this what's the worst that could happen and if this guy is your friend even if he didn't like you in that way most likely he'll still say yes because he's your friend unless he really hates you and he's secreting up and telling you <laughs> but most of the time right if you're in a group yeah even if you didn't like me like in, in if like me as a friend asked you you'd be like yeah sure yeah you know so i think really like just go for it what's the worst that could happen why well, he says no and he he embarrasses you in front of everyone no he probably won't do that surprise the guy so i would say surprise the guy you should just try it so i say yeah that's how you that's how you can go about doing it it's not like i'll ask many guys out he's the only guy probably that i ask i think well zero percent hit rate Look at that. You ask once, you get a husband, guys. That's a that's 100% conversion rate, y'all. <laughs> because guys are usually very activity focused. Like, guys born over activities. That's true. They was born over talking. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I guess you must read the guy. Like, I don't know, he was open to going for coffee if you feel like the guy that you are interested in is someone that you... Okay, like maybe you're a bit scared. Maybe you're scared that for a first one-on-one, -on -one, you don't want it to be just you and him and a hot couple. Yeah, that might be because they're facing each other. Yeah, that might, very might be a little bit intimidating for some of you. Then we would suggest maybe like using a scenario like I'd say the guitar one or maybe if you're looking for... I know people that do this. I know people that they're looking for something. Let's say they're looking to prepare their laptop or they're looking to yeah. buy something. Yeah. Um, like that particular, particular, I don't know, hair dryer or something. And they're like... I think it's more like laptops. Okay. What if guys are good at... What if your laptop's not broken? Good, Smash it. No, okay. Smash it. It's worth buy it. a new one. Buy a new laptop. New iPhone. Oh gosh, it's not everyone going to buy a new piece. laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Something maybe not so girly. Yeah, you're right. Maybe not so girly. Yeah. Maybe something like... Just, oh, I'm looking to... Camera, tripod, I don't know. What if the person doesn't want to own a whole studio? All the things suggested are like <laughs> thousands of dollars. The Apple Watch. No. Okay, I don't get any referral fee from all this. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know who is sponsoring him. No one, okay? No one. Yep. Um, I think you could even go for something like, Hey, I wanted to, I've always wanted to try this new bubble tea. You want to go? Right? Something like that. So it has to be like a gadget. I mean, not everyone can... How many gadgets can you buy? <laughs> <laughs> Every week you're buying new ones. Yeah. But I would say, guys, keep it natural. Keep it real. If you're not someone that likes to play the guitar and a guy likes to play the guitar, don't go out of your way to fake it and say, I want to buy a guitar. Because he will know. Mm. That you're a fake. I'll give it real. Your comfort zone is always something that you are interested in. Ah! So... Oh, it's sour. I'm trying to pick this up. Don't you guys just hate it when the end of the, the bowl is when you have all the broken strands? It's always so hard. I need a spoon. Need a spoon? It's okay. I got it. I got it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you ask a guy out i mean the guy that you are interested in and if so how leave it in the comments below and have fun guys just do it chase your love chase your dreams really expert 100 percent heat rate <laughs> i didn't even think of that you know mm. that's brilliant more like a one hit wonder uh, one hit wonder indeed yeah i hope i'm the wonder you are the one baby you, make, you are the one i make you wonder too <laughs> we are done and we are so full and we hope you guys had a blast of us today we hope that we encouraged you to pursue your dreams and find the love of your life and to really just like step out there and be confident and be you and be beautiful and it's all gonna be i think a person is the most beautiful when they're just themselves and when they're confident and i think above all like a guy like it when a girl is confident Right? And yeah. and I think that's the that's the sexiest thing. So yes, till next time for our next episode of the Lisa Show, we will see you then. Bye!